<laughs> We're going to do teammates for you lot now. So you, you seem like quite a close bunch at Leeds. How is the new boys gelling? Because this week, um, is there a big hoo-ha because Bish has been left out for Briscoe? Is that is that is Bish? What well, I was Bish feeling about that? Is it is it a problem? I think Bish is. Uh, I mean, Bish played really well against London. Then he come on, played half a game, scored three tries, and nobody's under any uh, illusion that. Bish is a class player. I think you rate him as well, Simon. He's an international player. Yep. He, he's that good, and he was just fortunate to have so many good outside backs. And I think right through the squad, you know, we've got some really good players. And the competition's massive, and you know, even myself, you know, I've been out injured, and you're always worried that when you come back, are you going to get back into any sort of form? And, and genuinely, even with these two guys here inside of me, and the, the other guys, you think to yourself, you know, I'm, I'm going to be able to get back in here because the squad is that good. Um, the training's been that great that lads, everybody's performing, everybody's playing really well, and everybody, as Mitch says, everybody's going for the for the best years. So, uh, but that's that can only be good as a lead supporter and as a, a lead player. That's what you want because you know if we if we're right up there performing every week, then we, we've got a good shot of of winning some trophies. I'm hoping that we get you and Bish on loan at Halifax. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, fingers crossed. <laughs> if you fancy, it, would you would you come down to Halifax on a few games? The old blue and white helmet. Would, yeah. For me, oh, Mitch, a bromance. Move over, single. Who is the ugliest? Who is the ugliest player at Leeds? Who's the, who's, the, who's who's been hit by the ugly tree? Don't go there, Simon. Come on. No, cause it's, <laughs> it's teammates. Come on. You got to say, Mitch. Well, this one with you. Who's the ugliest? I think it's a bit too obvious that one. Um, old no. Chrissy Bill Clarkson. <laughs> 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 Come on, uh, let's get two mics to these guys here. Come on, let's have a talk about Clarky. He wonders around your house and leaves all kinds of stuff on sofa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think if a lass actually sat down on my sofa, she'd end up pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times he stops there and then I come back and there's just white stains everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said that's coming out of his mouth, not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. Um, to describe his face, it's like you imagine someone lets off a firework into someone's face and the features set and his eyes are far further apart than ever and his ears are sticking out, his his teeth have been like chiselled in, he's, he's, he's not blessed, anyway. He's a great bloke, he's, he's my favourite bloke yeah, in the club. He's our he's best mate. Everyone says he's such a good bloke, Chris Clarkson. He is, he's, a, he's a top lad, I can't ever get him, I don't know if he's always joking. Or being serious because he's just constantly in this one mode. But uh, you ask him to do all. Yeah, he, he, one, one of the staff actually at our place asked him to build a wall. He's, he was a bricklayer, Clarkie. He's uh, got a trade behind him. He could build your house if he wanted. And Clarkie turned up to this uh, particular member of staff's house, built a wall, and didn't even get paid. He said, Oh, cheers, pal. <laughs> <Joking>. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Spent half a day there. I can't, can't repeat what that is. But uh, spent half a day at this person's house. Went, oh, yeah, cheers, pop. Who won it? If you go. It, what, it, it was a tight ass. Come on, well, let's, let's name him or shame. can't remember. I'm no, amazing. he does. Oh, he, he knows, does, he knows. I've, I've forgotten more than I let's can have remember. A, is it, we, we, let's have a guess. We'll have a guess off air. Uh, who was the pretty boy at Leeds? Oh, it's Zach, isn't it? Is Zach, got, yeah. Zach, Zach, you reckon, Jonesy? I don't know, mate. We're echoing that he turned up at Old Kiowa yesterday. Um, <laughs> what so what, what's he done? Shocker. You haven't seen it? No, it's just a bit of a short back inside, but it's a bit too high. <laughs> Top uh, fade. Yeah, there's a yeah. bit of a step. And, uh, like he's a I think he's going to fix it today, though. Who's the worst dressed in the club out of the boys? Who's the worst dressed? Well, if you... You don't get it, boys. Look at, look at the guy next to me. He goes through his days through colour, don't you? He's <laughs> colour coordinated. I'm always colour coordinated. I don't know, I don't know how you get yeah. that. The, ki yeah, the kids I, are I, always colour it, coordinated. I don't, think, I don't think anyone else gets it. <laughs> mate, I'm a, I'm a match. everything matches nice. So we're talking Jonesy. Jonesy, you, you, you've won it, mate. I'm sorry. Everyone's agreed here. No, but... Holy... Holly with his Ugg boots and all that. He oh, he it, it, that don't fit him. it turned up to with Manugs to, like, when he came on radio, and I'm like, Holly, that's the for girls. He's like, no, no, the the Manugs. I went, <laughs> yeah, jeans yeah, tucked in. Come up to his knees as well. They're horrible. I think Vicky buys it all for him. That's why she buys him his clothes. <laughs> Who's got the worst taste in music in the group? Anyone got any shocking? Holly, yeah, Holly. and he's one of these as well. He put, all, he like everybody's getting nosebleeds after the third song, and he, we're gonna have to turn this over. And uh, you go turn it over and starts throwing weights about big tantrum and that like a little twelve year old. <laughs> so you think just for the sake of him carrying on, he might have put some music back on, but it's horrible. He like listens to a guy called Buckethead. If you Google it, he's like a bloke with a KFC bucket, and he listens to that sort of stuff. Bloke with a KFC bucket on his head. It's like heavy metal and thrash metal and all no that kind way. of stuff. For such an intelligent bloke, you'd think he'd be listening to classical music and that, but he's a, he's a fruitcake. Who's the most likely to ditch a lads for a date? 
yeah, Stevie for St- sure. Stevie, yeah. <laughs> we, we had a little, uh, well, we didn't have an argument, but on uh, New Year's Eve, we all went out together. It was like nine of us, and we all took our birds. And um, we, Stevie spent that much time with his missus rather than the boys that we ended up making a game that if you, you only had, what, five or six minutes of sitting next to her, otherwise you had to down your drink. <laughs> he, he was blind by the end of the night because every time we looked over, he's he holding hands. He wouldn't let her go. I thought, yeah, <laughs> Singo just says kissing, shook his head. <laughs> it's not on. It's not on. Is it, is it, is it, is it well and truly? Steve, Stevie's loved up, isn't he? Oh, big time. If you, even, even if you read his tweets, you'll just end up like feeling sick. Who's always late? Who's the, who's the, late, who's the late comer? <laughs> I'd probably go for Jonesy, yeah. Oh, but Clarky in the morning, maybe. Yeah, but, yeah, Jonesy. Um, who's, who's got the dog's body of the group? They're all going to say me, but... Uh, <laughs> but I think Leeds are just blessed with uh, a, a very well-built side. He's just like a strong kebab. He's just uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a big Donnermeat kebab. Donnermeat kebab. No, not that one. But it, uh, it doesn't matter, does it? It works, Singo. It's fictional. You're a bit like yeah. uh, a Korean car. You're not the best to look at, maybe you just work perfect. It's really well. Well, if, that, if that's what I want to go for, but uh, I'll have to wear that. But uh, um, you've got to put Cla- uh, Abo in there. He looks a bit like melted welly. From whoa, 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 whoa. Do we not like melted? No, I don't mention Abo. You can't mention Abo. Why? Who want? It's uh, just signed a. Si- he's just signed a. Uh, uh, How come we're not allowed to mention Abo? Five-year deal, is it? It'd be just a bit tired. Tired as man crush. It's it's more than Fancy a man Abel. crush. Oh. It's, 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 oh, no. it's, it's more than a man crush. Oh, is it? He actually he actually said he would. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did that. It's not a man crush. I'm just a fan. A second rowers in general and Carl Ablett with his form for the last couple of years. <laughs> just like a Carl Ablett fan, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, who's who's the artist trainer? Well, I think that, I think there's a lot. I think the guy next to me he, he trains a lot. He's always l- first in the gym, last out, and uh, the likes of Kev. Uh, but you've got to say JP and Kylie also. They're the ones that set the standard with the extras and whatnot out on the field for the us forwards. Um, but yeah, I think uh, like I say, we're blessed with leads. I think everyone just wants to train and wants to be fit. Extras at minute, mate. Everybody's banging it, and everybody wants to win trophy back. So you've got to go that extra mile. I did some. I love to do extras, mate. Cause I'm not, I, I'm not that good at all, as you know. So I was just trying to keep this engine going and, and get loads of grafting. I'm the best in the world at being average for long periods of time. But uh, other day I did some extras, and uh, Mitch, funnily enough, I, I kept it pretty secret. But he came and did it next to me. I couldn't get away from him. He's ripped up this last, this last sort of after Christmas. He lost a few kgs, and he was, uh, he was killing it. And I thought, oh no, I'm, this is what I'm talking about. When I get back, I have to do even more extras with me, uh, with me shins and all that. Carry on, there's uh, back 100. percent But that's that's what you've got to do if you want to win league and be competing every week. You've got to be a fit group. I think that was the uh, the issue with me last year. I, I mustn't have noticed everyone doing extras, and I looked over and seen <laughs> Jonesy on the side of the pitch trying to do sneaky ones by himself. I thought that's the secret. So I went and tried to race him, and he still won, but I was catching him. Mate, I struggled. It was hard. It was hard. Who's the worst trainer at Leeds? Stevie. Well, I, I think that's down to uh, we never see him. He's because of a, his recent injury and whatnot. He, we never really see him. So Stevie, yeah, you got old baby shoulders. He um. He's had that many shoulder injuries. He can't, he, you know, he can't, he can't get any muscle growing on his upper body because his shoulders are that are that gone that he can't lift any weights. And when he first came back to training, and he was trying to throw long balls and whatnot, now going over everyone's head, throwing them out in the full and whatnot, <laughs> thinking he was a six. But um, it, other than that, I think yeah, everyone else trains pretty hard. Ben, ben Jones Bishop used to get a lot of stick last year because he always looked unfit. <laughs> then we found out <laughs> he only had his <laughs> own <laughs> one clock. <laughs> 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 Poor kid was about thirty minutes from death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you're not fit. <laughs> Poor kid, he couldn't even pass ball up in that line. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is the most skillful in the, in the team? Yeah, I'd no, probably go with Magsy. Yeah. Danny Maguire. He's just got everything, doesn't he? Yeah. You really love him, don't you? <laughs> that sounded a bit weird. Like, crush, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a. Uh, I just like th- th- when we do so, uh, when we do ball skills. Uh, w- when we actually when we when we train with the ball <laughs> <laughs> in an attacking sense, mm-hmm. he's got a really good catch and pass, and uh, he's got a kick. He's he's quick. He's mm-hmm. got everything. Matt Cooper, or Danny Maguire. <laughs> Danny Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> um, who was the quickest? Zach, probably not. Is Briscoe quick? Yeah, Briscoe's, r- 
Briscoe's like the tripod. He's like he's got three legs. He's that strong. Hello, hello. His core, <laughs> no. his core, his core strength is that phenomenal. He just keeps leg driving. He doesn't know he's tackled. Like a big carpet. I don't know he's being hooked. We, we had a couple of Hull guys on before, and they said that Tom Briscoe's got... That's well, what they said. I don't know if that's PC, but I know what you mean. You know what I mean, don't I? You know yeah. what I mean. I understand. <laughs> 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 what about Bish? Bish must be one of the quickest. I mean, yeah, I'd say Zach, and, I'd say Zach and Bish. Yeah, I mean, Bish doesn't run any oh, faster yeah, than anybody else, but his legs are fifty percent longer than everybody else. Who covers more ground? <laughs> Who's the most likely to cry over a movie? Who's the sensitive one of the group? Probably be Rob or someone like that. I reckon Abo. We caught Clarky crying the other day. He <laughs> denies it. <laughs> you go on. You can tell. Oh, sorry. I, I sent a tweet out the other day. It said. Um, uh, there's no one that loves rugby league more than Chris Clarkson, so I hope he does well. Uh, he he got called into uh, the coach's office the other day. He will hate me <laughs> telling this story as well. Um, and we all thought it must have been bad because when Mac talked to him, he sort of says, Clarkson, come to my office now. And I was like, oh, no, what, what has he done? And he went into the office and uh, he came downstairs and I could have sworn he was crying. He, he looked yeah. me in the eye and I, like, I think he wiped his eyes and he looked away like I thought, oh, no, he's what happened? What did he say to him? And then I found out he was in the starting team for the week, so I think he loves his rugby that much. He got told he was starting and he had a cry. <laughs> 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 oh, absolutely quality. Who, who was the best at FIFA? FIFA? Did you all play FIFA? It's like a big in this house. It's big between the boys. It's, uh, it's died off lately because Mick Shane used to host tournaments sort of thing. So I you, miss, are you miss him, Mick Shane? Yeah, he's a lovable guy. Uh, I heard he's there. a very lovable guy. Yeah, he is too <laughs> lovable. <laughs> Yeah. Too lovely if that's well yeah, Iraqi. Some of the boys have been uncomfortable with the man he touches people in. So yeah, um he used to horse him and I think I think he used to win him, but there's the uh, likes of Zach, there's Bish and uh yeah, I think they're all quite good at FIFA, but it's died off a little. Um who's under the thumb out of all the boys, who's under the thumb? I'll go Stevie. Uh Hawley's pretty bad as well. Brown Hall, number one, without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, McShane was pretty bad when he was here as well. He just organise a boys' night out and his missus would be taken along. <laughs> <laughs> oh sh! Who's the clumsiest? Um, Holly. He'll trip over his flat jeans. <laughs> Kirky broke his ribs on a rower, so he's pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. He just had uh, he had to have his ribs fixed, and he had second oh. abdominal out. It was that bad. <laughs> How did he break it? He trained so hard. Him. I'd also, I'd Too also, hard. I'd also go for Andy Yates as clumsy. He can't oh. walk straight at all. Yeah, Andy Yates, he come over from Unzit and he's supposed to be a personal trainer, but he can't use his legs properly. So he's tr started doing weights for the first couple of weeks. And then his first field session, he just, he, what he do? He's Achilles. He's Achilles, Achilles, yeah, popped yeah. it. Yeah. So he's a, he's a bit of a gimp. It well. reminds me of, like, you know, Shaggy off Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yeah, When they're running away from the monster. That's why I imagine. <laughs> like Same background, Gwen. <laughs> yeah. Who's the hard man at the club? I think Peacock's got to be uh, yeah. got to be up there. Not so much physically, just mentally. He just stare at you, <laughs> stare at you, and you just break. You just stare I, at you. I'm doing a talk with him soon at university, talking about his career and my, my life and how I've got from a council estate up to doing all right in clubbing and DJing and stuff. And I'm pretty. I just don't know how to take him. Is he is he all right? Is he a good bloke? Yeah, he's I don't know him very well. I speak to him and he he just always talks to you with massive authority. Yeah, you know what I mean? When he wants to be intense, he's intense. That's You've just hit the nail on the head. I always feel inferior to him. Yeah. That's what it is. Uh, I don't know what it is because he's, he's a nice guy and he's yeah, very, he's very intelligent. He's very smart. Uh, you, I think everybody just respects him that much that you feel like you're, you're talking to your headmaster when you talk, even though he's in the same team. Right, two more to go. Who's the coach's favourite? Brad Singleton. At the moment, anyway. No, it's... Uh, yes. It's the lovable group that keeps winning in rings. It's uh, Jonesy, Kev, Mags, Peacock, Kylie. Of course it is. It's hard. It's, it depends on what day it is, I suppose. But um, all pre-season, it's been bred. When the England boys come back, it's been it's been all them. We've got a good senior group, haven't we? We've got no, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, actually, I'm not part of that, me. I'm the lowest of the senior group by a long way. But like, obviously, Kev, JP, they, they, there's a lot. They, they have a a lot of ownership on what goes on, but Brian McDermott is a very, very smart, mostly intelligent uh, bloke, and he's a great coach, and I think that part of coaching is, is that man management and using those players uh, to sort of take ownership of the team and make sure things are, are yeah. running smoother themselves, and Brian's really, really good at that, and uh, we've, we've got a fantastic senior leadership group. You know, Kyle Lula is up there, he's, he's one of the strongest as well, he's like the Hulk, really bench-pressing 200 kgs for fun, 
uh, without even trying. 200 kg. Yeah, easy, mate. Yeah, maybe he's, more. He's, honestly, he's honestly. a freak. I don't even know what's on the rack, will he? He'll no. just do it. Just does it, but he just <sighs> he doesn't like it. He doesn't even train it. Well, he does train, but he just comes in and just goes through, does what he has to do. Yeah. Won't do the, you know, won't go in there and think, right, I want to bench 250 because he's just that strong. But yeah, him, lads like him, uh, Magsy, Rob, and all them halves, and that people are going to be pivotal on the pitch. They, they have a really good relationship with Mac, which is obviously really important. You're just Gary's favourite. I'm his sideshow Bob at minute, yeah. Side, side <laughs> Come on, John, see, we've got this on uh, on Monday night, on Tuesday night, on Wednesday night. But I love it. No, I, I just love the club. The club itself, it's come a long way in 15 years. You know, the narrative of the old place, what the foundation's doing, going out into the community. Uh, and I think everybody would agree that you know, Leeds are, are jumping on the map and doing really good things uh, in, in good places. And I was speaking on Monday night about it. reminds me, uh, when I look back historically, of, of Florence back in the old 1500s. Renaissance oh, I'm, days. I'm, de- I'm, I'm DJing there. there. Are you, are you going there? I'm well, DJing in Start the wrong I'm not going to bore these boys. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my God, here if we you, go. If you start Googling people, like, obviously I, m- I mentioned Machiavelli and, and, uh, and Leonardo da Vinci and all them sort of people. We get on text. All, all <laughs> uh, they all come about in them sort of, sort of places and I think just the players that have come through, when you, even when you go right back to sort of Barry McDermott you know, and uh, the coaches that we've had, it's been a special uh, time this last decade. Last but not least, always the longest in the shower. I don't, I don't go in the shower, they worry me in there, so I have a shower when I get home. Um, I'll go for Zach. Zach? Maybe. McShane was the worst, he used to wait for everyone to get in there and come charging in late. Yeah, he used to eye drown corners <laughs> and that, about Paul McShane, like light off and that is horrible. But I think <laughs> Zach, Zach Hardick, he's probably been there long because he's, he's that skinny. When it's cold outside, it, it seeps right through to his bones, it's cold. And he has to sit in there and get one back up so he can move again. 